Hey guys, it's Alex, and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to do HDRI maps and image-based lighting. So we're just going to hop right into it. If you don't know what uh, HDRI maps do, it's basically it gives your scene uh, something to reflect. So we're just going to hop right into it here. We're going to first we're going to create our scene. Let's hop into textured mode, and then let's just move the sphere around. Create another one. Sorry about my really loud keyboard. So, you know what, let's have to add a cube as well, just for shits. Okay, so we have our scene. It's pretty basic. <laughs> so, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add, we're just going to texture our scene. So, we're for this sphere, we're going to add a checker, increase it a bit, make it a little lighter. Square, we're going to add a fong, but we're not going to change anything with it. And then for this, we're going to leave that as the standard Lambert 1. So there's two ways of doing this. First way is just using the HDR map on a, uh, a sphere. So we're just going to scale this up so it's bigger than our scene. Move our camera inside. Oops, I want to scale it. And then channel box, let's just rename this to HDR so we can keep track of our stuff. And we're going to assign new material, favorite material, it should be right there, surface, surface shader. And then we're going to hit the texture button beside out color, hit file, and we're going to open it up. Mine's on my desktop, just going to wait for this open dialog to load up. You can do it. There we go. Okay, there it is. I recommend using uh, a polygon instead of nerves for this. It's because the nerves kind of screw up your texture easily. I'm just going to wait for it. This is a pretty high res resolution HDRI map, so it could take a couple minutes. There it is. Now you can see it right there. Okay. So next thing we need to do is we go into our render settings and we need to turn on mental ray. And then in indirect lighting, we need to turn on file gathering. This tab may be uh, minimized. And that's all you need to do. So let's just render it just so you have an idea of what it looks like. So you can see the reflection in the background or the reflection of the background on the sphere and on the uh, cube here. And then on the Lambert, you can see it takes a little bit of the lighting. See, it's green on the bottom and uh, a little bit blue on the top. It takes some of the lighting, but it doesn't reflect the texture. That's because that's just what Lambert does. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this, since that's the first way of doing it. The other way of doing it is going to go to our render settings, and you saw this in the environment tab. There's image-based lighting, so we're just going to create that and then we're going to hit that button there, and that will open up uh, the image based lighting node in the attribute editor. So we're going to open up the image, the HDRI map. And of course, we have to wait for the open dialog. And here it is. Got to wait for that to load. And for this, you don't need final gathering on. So I'm going to delete, um, disable that, and render it. And that's pretty much it. It pretty much has the same effects. And this way seems to be a little bit faster, but maybe slightly less quality. So it's because you don't have uh, Final Gathering on. But uh, I'm pretty sure it still works with Final Gathering on. So if you want to turn that on, go right ahead. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.